Hi there! Welcome to Daily Mana. Just as our body is in need of material food, so as our soul is in need of the Word of the Lord. We were conversing, conversing one time with my friends and we looked at some available phones in the market at that time. And when we started browsing, we just talked about it for a short time and then after that, we left the conversation and we proceeded to another. I noticed that as I was browsing my Facebook wall for the entire day, I noticed that there were several advertisements of different cell phones that are available in the market that time being. How did it happen? Well, things work like that through algorithms. When the, the web world would see and notice that you are interested in something, they will begin posting or letting things that are related to your interest to your wall and it begins with just a quick browse it begins with just a conversation and you will notice that your wall in on facebook becomes filled with those things that you are thinking about well our life as believers don't work that way that whatever we browse becomes the regular content of our wall but there is a similar concept on that matter. Why did I say that? Because here is something that I discovered in the way we live as God's children. What we, what we usually think becomes the basis for our regular action. If in browsing, what we regularly look at becomes the regular content of the wall or the wall of our Facebook, what we regularly think becomes the regular images that would come out of us this is clearly stated by paul in the book of philippians chapter 8 4 verses 8 to 9 he said here finally brethren whatever is true whatever is honorable whatever is right whatever is pure whatever is lovely whatever is of good repute if there is any excellence and if anything worthy of praise dwell on these things the things you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. May the good Lord bless the reading of his word. In these long statements that we could see here in these two verses, there are two main commandments that Paul uttered here or wrote here. What were they? The first one is in verse 8 when he said, dwell on these things. What are these things? Those are the series of whatevers. Whatever is true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, of good repute. You let your mind dwell on those things. And the reason for that is directly related to the second command that he gave in verse 9. The second command is practice these things. What are the things? The things that he mentioned earlier. The things that the believers learned from what Paul and the other apostles taught them about. These are important matters that believers shall think about because whatever they would think about will become the basis for the kind of life that they live. So if I may summarize what I have stated from the very beginning of this brief devotion, what one regularly entertains in the mind is manifested in the daily actions. I'll repeat, what one regularly entertains in the mind is manifested in the daily actions. That is why it is so important that as God's children, we will saturate our mind with the scriptures. We will saturate our mind with things that are of God. We will saturate our mind with those things that are pure and noble and wonderful and beautiful in the eyes of God. Because whatever is there will be seen in our action. So let's be very careful as to what we let our minds dwell on. Because if we dwell on negative things, negative things will come out of us. If we dwell on things that are lustful, then that will dictate our actions as well. So again, let's be very careful on what we let our mind think and dwell on. Why? Because what one regularly entertains in the mind becomes a regular image in the actions that we show in this life. So let that reminder guide us day after day as we live as God's children. God bless you and let us pray. Lord, thank you for this word that you have given to us this time. And may we all guided 
As we live in this life, let our minds screen the things that we dwell on. Let our minds become very careful on what we think about because sooner or later, what we have in here will become the basis for the actions that we display in life. Bless your children. Guide us always with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.